previously on our adventure through the Tramontana Mountains. We started our trip from St. Elm and made it to the village of Estellengs after a 9 hour hike, passing the famous ruins of La Trapa and the beautiful mountain chain. Everything went down smoothly until the very start on our second day from Estellengs to Esporles. During my typical stops to get some drone footage, suddenly my drone lost the signal and it stopped above a busy road. Gorka and I didn't wait for too long and started running back the trail to the location shown on the map in my drone app. After a while of running I could recover the signal and see the drone laying beside the road. In that moment we couldn't believe how lucky we are and I flew the drone back to our location. But how was it possible that the drone landed exactly next to the road? Four days later back at home while checking the drone footage I came across this. During our way back the drone was descending on the middle of the road, while both cars and cyclists were passing by and almost crashed into it. The drone landed on the road and stayed there until one of the cyclists was so kind to stop and move it onto the side of the road. So I just want to take a moment to say thank you to the unknown cyclist. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for saving my drone. In the unlikely case you're watching this video, please get in touch with me. And now let's go back to the video. Since we lost quite some time, we wanted to catch up with the rest of the group. So we decided to increase our speed a little bit. Hola, hello, hi. Yeah, you all in? So it's mine, say hello. Then Phil let us know that they already left Banyal Bufa where they made a little break, so Gorka and I took it easy again and took the time to enjoy our surroundings. Look how green that is here. It's very light green. This is Banyal Bufar. We are just going to buy some water, get some snacks. There's no water, there's no, water. There's no shop. <laughs> well, maybe there's a shop in Banyal Bufar, so we don't get water. While we were taking a little break in Banyal Bufar, we started dreaming about the picturesque Mallorcan landscape. The moment we came back to our senses we realized that we still had half of the way to go, so we started moving again. Hey. After walking another hour on the stony path to Sporles, finally we could catch up with the group again. We took another little break, stretched our ligaments, then continued our way together to Sporles, where we were checking in in the Safita Eckberger Hostel. Once arrived, the hostel provided us with some crocs. Before going to dinner and to end the day in a relaxing way, Gorka and I took a bath in the cold pool while we were doing a little meditation. Your breath is the only thing that stays with you until the end of your life. Everything else can be taken away from you. The more you focus on your breath, the calmer you feel, and the more you are in control of your emotions. Okay, we have to do a pretty long day, only like almost 30 kilometers. Cada vez hay más gente aquí. So yes, so we are gonna be crossing now. First hill up to Valdemosa, then we go down to Valdemosa, where we have lunch. And then no sé qué dice Carmen, pero... Obstacles. Barney, since you're not on the video, yes? So this is Barney, guys. Nice to see you all. It's a pleasure to be here. It oh, really yeah. is. Beautiful company and beautiful surroundings. And he's joining us for one day? One day, possibly tomorrow as well. Thanks for joining us, Barney. Glad to be here. We immersed ourselves in the forest of Esporles until we stopped at a cliff from where we could enjoy the superb views of Mallorca's west coast.
After around three hours into walking, Gorka was struggling because of his knee, so we had to take care of it. Gorka, please, Gracias. please put on your sexy knee brace. Te da envidia, eh? Querías verlo de cerca. Well, then it will do the work properly. And yeah. how does it feel? Good. Yeah. Good. Then Carmen was so kind to show him how to use his hiking sticks properly, since it seems like that Gorka didn't remember his practice with his crutches before his knee surgery four years ago. The idea is always to put the stick before your leg and downhill. If you have pain in your left knee, you put the sticks before your before. Are you sure? Then they hike very hard. I would do something for your back to be lighter. Because Last, we had to reorganize his backpack so that he had less weight to carry around. Carmen and Emma were kind of shocked when they've seen what Gorka was carrying around since the very start of our adventure. We are throwing him in. Okay, put down your bag again. So you are like shocked because he has been to them, right? I feel. What are what are those? How many days have you been carrying? Oh, those are really good. Oh my god! Those are really good. No, Gorka, you cannot do this. This is really heavy. This is really bad for you. I have I'm not. I'm not losing Barney. If you're gonna carry cans, carry them for one day and eat them. Exactly. Buy more. Exactly. Can I just here? Let's chocolate. Chocolate eggs. Patrick, the sh champignons. Magic fungi. Here, look. Is it a magic one? Look the curious way it spreads spores. Whoa. Is it? Yeah. When an animal steps on it or a, or a branch falls on it or whatever, by pressing, it releases all those spores. It's the, the reproductive organ underneath. Reproductive organ. Within the soil. Yeah. It's the actual mycelium which is the organism itself, which spreads all over the, the forest bed. We are just arriving in by the Mosa, having a quick break. Our lunch break is over now. Now we are energized again and we are going to start our way to Deya, which is going to be a four hour hike, more or less. The first path on the way from Valle Mosa to Deya was a steep and sweaty ascent for around an hour. We're still walking up the mountain today. Yeah. It's a never ending story. Once we reached the top of the mountain, we took a short break so that Barney could finally eat his favorite food. Oh, there's just power in every bite. I've been carrying this can of ravioli and that can of beans. Yeah. Oh, I love mandarins as well. There we go. This, this is good hiking food. This is not good hiking food. We should draw, we should draw your shape there. You know, okay, this like would be socks. your socks. I was never gonna be one of these Germans. I'm already, you know, it's the age. What can you do? Down there, it's Deja and the port. That's Deja, the village, and then. A little bit further away is the port of Soya. We kept moving while we were enjoying the mostly flat path over the mountains with incredible views down to the coastline. Since I'm alone right now, I think this is a very good moment to take this time to have some deep talk. What can you take away doing a trip like this? Spending so much time walking through this beautiful Mediterranean nature, just being in the present moment, enjoying your surroundings. If you go with friends, I mean, you can do this alone, of course, as well. It's probably having then even a more calming effect. But for example, I'm an extrovert. I'm like recharging energy, being with people. I'm always talking with Gorka about it. I always say there are three relationships you have to take care about. First, the relationship with yourself. Second, the relationship to other people, other human beings. And third, the relationship with nature and animals. What do we think if you take care of those three relationships, you usually have a content and happy life. Let's see if I can catch up and find my group in Deja. I could join Carmen, our guide. Not long after catching up with Carmen, we arrived in Deja. Gorgeous village embedded in a valley in the middle of the Serra de Tramontana. Surrounded by the mountains and with the sea in front, it is my favorite village on the whole island. Gorka, how are you doing? How's your knee? Very well. I have yeah? something to tell you, Patrick. Yeah, what? It's not until 
a mosquito lands on your balls that you learn that violence is not the solution to everything. <laughs> so what we are doing now is very, very, very exciting. Our drill instructor is taking us <laughs> on the most beautiful path of this hike of along the coastline from Caladea to Port Sawyer. Because usually you go directly to the village, which is around two hours and 10 minutes. But now we have three hours, more or less. Yes, no time to lose. We're we're walking walking 5.35, this is serious shit now. Okay, this is part of Caladea, but I better show you the drone footage. And look who joins! Got a guy's back! Oh. Hey. Ooh. What's happening? Is it the right way? You know what's happening? Huh? Sometimes you got a choice in your life. You either pick the most walked by path or you pick the less walked by path. And if you pick the less walked by path, then you leave. And if you don't, you just exist. Since we wanted to arrive before it got dark to see the sunset, we had to hurry up. We managed to arrive around 15 minutes before the sunset. It wasn't as expected because it was cloudy, but sitting down after 11 hours of walking and being in silence was a great way to end the day. <laughs> 